Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Thanks for joining me today for another start to finish project. I always get interrupted just as I'm about to start something. Let's see who this is. Okay, so, oh, it's another message. Ah, oh, this is a bit of a strange one. I wonder who this could be. Mike Deacon. You have been offered an extra super duper top secret mission. And I am suddenly Russian. Let's just go it. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is as follows. Create an art journal page using the following elements. Number one. Add shredded important documents or a scrap of paper, either one is fine. Number two, hide the details with a light coat of toxic gesso. Number three, add paint for no reason at all. Number four, spray with luminol or spray ink. Spray ink for fine, that's all you've got. Number five, hide the evidence with collage elements. Number six, use stamps or stencils to cover your trail. Number seven, add a disembodied head from your collection of disembodied heads. Number eight, disguise the head pins or markers. Number nine, add a secret password or phrase. Number ten, add a single stone. Two. You might want to write all of this down because this message will self-destruct and... Is it safe? Has she gone? So I'm going to begin with my small Dilusions journal and I'm going to use the matte medium Mod Podge and I'm just going to stick down a piece of backing paper. It's an old map that was sent to me by Hanny Trump in some happy mail recently and I've cut it into shreds, into strips. I'm going to glue that down using the Mod Podge and then give it a real good heat so that it all sets before I move on to my next layer. Now that we're all stuck down, I'm going to give it a bit of a heat blast to make sure it's all dry and sealed before I come in with my next step. Step number two is to apply a thin coat of toxic gesso. This is the Indigo Blue White Gesso Good and I'm just adding some water to it just to thin it down a little bit and I'm going to cover the entire page just to knock back that map to just make it disappear off into the background. And then I'm going to bring out my heat gun and give that a dry too. And step number three is to add paint for no reason at all. So this time I'm going to use a selection of Reeves Artist paint and I'm just going to apply those roughly with my finger, getting a bit down and dirty 
and I'm just going to do a cross hatch kind of pattern right the way across the page using two or three different colours. And if you missed my on screen annotation, this is a phthalo blue. So this is a nice sort of greyish green colour, kind of a mossy green if you like. And my third colour is the Deep Turquoise, one of my favourites of the Reeves range. So in a second you'll see me bring out a wet wipe and all I'm going to do with that is just to um, activate some of that paint with the water from the wet wipe and just spread that across the, the, the edges of the page just to kind of create a, a little bit of a border to it. So step number four is to add spray inks of your choice. Now the only spray inks I've really got are the Dilutions and this is the Cherry Pie. Not my spray ink of choice. Um, I don't particularly like the Dilutions ones because they do tend to reactivate again as you'll see later on. So you know I don't use these very often. So before I heat set I'm just going to bring a paper towel in and I'm just going to mop up the excess because I don't really want to have all that ink sitting on the surface because I know it's going to reactivate and I don't want it to end up being a complete purpley mess. Step five is to hide those blood stains with um, collage elements, so hide the evidence with collage elements. Now these are just uh, strips of um, TV listings that I've pulled out from my local paper and as you can see those dilution sprays have reactivated with the Mod Podge, knew they would, so they've tinted those with a kind of pinky reddish colour. Now I'm just going to add some more collage elements across the pages, just a couple of bits that I've cut out from magazines and some leftover bits and pieces from card making. Um, just one or two pieces, not a lot. So step number six is to use stamps or stencils to cover your trail. I'm going to use some stencils and this is the Reeves white or titanium white acrylic paint and I'm just going to use this chicken wire reversed stencil from TCW. I'm just going to randomly put that around my double page spread. And as I was using my stencil brush, I noticed that somebody had cut a big chunk of the bristles out. So I had to switch to another one. But in the end, I go and fetch a cosmetic sponge because I find using those a bit easier than actually using those stencil brushes.
So the next stencil I'm going to be using is the half tone dot border stencil from TCW again and as you can see I've now switched to using a cosmetic sponge. And my third and final stencil today is the Art Is stencil from TCW. Again, this is one of those go-to stencils which, um, which pretty much goes with any project that you do. It's um, a real good one to have in your collection if you don't have it already. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a tidy up, get rid of some of that paint and then we're ready to move on to step number seven. So step number seven is to add a disembodied head from my collection. Now I don't know what Shannon thinks I've got in my collection, but why would I have loads of disembodied heads? Um, well actually she's not wrong I do have quite a few um, but for this one I've decided to use our good friend Mr Daniel Craig I did think he was quite apt for this mission inspiration project so I found a advert for the new James Bond movie the Spectre movie in my Sunday supplement so out came the scissors and there he is Okay, I'm just adding some of that matte Mod Podge over the top of the picture. Now, as you can see, I'm being very, very careful going on the edges. Now, what I want to try and do is not get any of that dilutions over his face because it's just going to give him a pink tint, and that's not really what I want. So what I've done is I've gone from the inside out. So I've put the Mod Podge on the inside and then brushed it out and away from his face. So now that Mr. Bond is all nice and dry, I'm going to remove my page protectors, get rid of any bits of loose glue string, and out comes my food ball pen, once I've had a bit of a tidy up, and I'm going to doodle around him and now start to blend those edges and add in some doodling, cross hatching, and kind of make him um, blend into the page a little bit more. So I'm going to add some of that cross hatching doodling over onto the left hand side of the page because I was beginning to think that it did start to look a little bit, a little bit right hand heavy so just adding some over to the left just kind of balance it and give it a bit more weight um, or a bit more of a symmetrical weight. And I've just got my heat tool on it because the food ball pens do take a little while to dry. So I wanted to make sure that they were very, very nice and dry before I moved on to my next step, which is using the Unisigno White Opaque Rollerball Pen. Try saying that after a couple of drinks. And um, just adding in some white highlights, some negative doodles, if you like, along with that black. So 
So we're now ready for step number nine, which is to add a secret password or phrase. Now, as I was cutting through the Sunday supplement, I discovered this, which I thought was absolutely perfect for what I wanted to do. If you're ever stuck for a quote or a prompt or anything like that, then have a look through local magazines or magazines for wording and text and typography that you can incorporate into your pages because it is a great source of inspiration and material too. And the last and final step is to add a single stolen jewel. So there you go. One Aurora Borealis, a self-adhesive gem. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little art journal project with Shannon Green. I certainly enjoyed putting that page together. If you did enjoy it, please remember to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube know that you want to see more from me and they will also recommend my channel to other people. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. I will see you all again real soon.